Africa are vast areas of dense forests and swamplands as yet unexplored by white men. A virgin territory penetrated only by the great Congo River and its tributaries. Here in this wild seeming portion of the dark continent is the home of the Ponga, native name for the gorilla. It was here on the fringe of gorilla territory in a nameless native village inhabited by a tribe of fierce Negritos, an incident occurred which was destined to startle the civilized world.
He's just too weak to fight jungle fever. I don't know how he managed to travel as far as he did. Do you think you can keep him alive till Sir Harry arrives? I expect him any day. I don't know, Van. I'm doing everything I can. I know you are, but... But if Sir Harry could only hear the astonishing things he said, it would mean so much. The man is delirious. You don't actually believe he saw a white girl, do you? Oh, yes, I do. It's the fever. No, Doc. There must be some truth behind the stories those hunters brought back from the interior. About a white girl attacking a native? Yes, sir. Poppy cock. Some drunken trader probably saw it coming out of a bottle of bourbon. That's what I thought. Until Kundalini showed up. Wait till Sir Harry arrives and I'll let you in on an amazing discovery. Come in. Boss. Boss come. That must be Sir Harry. Keep a close watch on our patient. Right over. But you better hurry. We haven't much time. discovery of the century. Would you mind coming along right away? Let's go. Let's attend to the unloading. Immediately, sir. Come, Pam. Pardon. Inside the jungle's no place for a girl like you. 
meaning you're beginning to regret that you ever left London, eh, what? Oh, it isn't that. It's just that I can't help thinking of all the needless dangers you have to encounter. Oh, I love excitement, Clive. You seem to have forgotten that I was born on a safari. However, if you'd rather return to London, I'm sure Father will understand. Can't tell you now being with you makes up for all this comfort. All right, come on, get that over there. Come on, let's get moving here. Good morning, Hans. Good morning, Herr Bondo. Hans, I want you to meet the leader of our expedition, Sir Harry Bracken. I am honored, mine, Commandant. Well, thank you. I'm pleased that Van Doren was able to engage a man with your qualifications to guide us. My daughter, Miss Pamela. How do you do? Pleasure of mine, Fräulein. My secretary, Carlo. How do you do, sir? And Baxter. Hello. Hello. Now, Hans, if you'll point out our canoes, we'll we'll we have to throw our luggage to board. What's in the plane of here? What's in the door? Come away. Here's the boss man. Number one boss man. Savvy? Savvy. Me, number one, porter boy. You show boss man the canoe, don't you? Follow number one, porter boy. You will follow me, I will show you to your canoe. to make a gentleman. Right-o. But I'm afraid your definition of a gentleman and mine are quite different.
this point, if we pack in through the jungle, we come to a trail over the mountains that will save us over 150 miles of water transport. By Jove, that will save a lot of time, too. Nice going, Hans. You've been over that trail before, Hans? What, sir? Now, about here, we come to a point...
about the old white man who gave the diary to come to I'm afraid that wouldn't be wise, mine hair. It might make them more suspicious of us than they are. So what do you propose? I'll ask the chief if he'll allow us to camp here for a few days to rest and do some trading. And if the old white man is still here, he'll seek us. Quite right, Han. We bow to your better judgment. Guadalajara, for a combo, a la plage, a la porte en bas. For ça, que me copies de me la vie. Of course, the man, that, with you. The chief says we can stay here long enough to do some trading, but we can't camp in the village. That's a old devil, isn't it? Well, I can't say I blame the old boy. He's probably had good reason for it. Have the porters break out some of the cotton goods and trinkets. Yes, sir. Mumbo Jumbo, coming me. For a cooler, the latin, je la tumba. Come on, give me the wall. Let me go there. Let me go there. Oh, 
My name doesn't matter. I was the anthropologist who accompanied the ill-fated Deodorf expedition. Uh, uh, anyhow, Deodorf was my friend, and I stuck by him after the others had deserted, and I was a witness to his murder by the missing link. Doctor, we are very anxious to know what you have in this bag. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I was going to show you some photos I made. I was afraid to entrust them to Gunderson. Now, yeah, now that is Dr. Frederick Theodore. In my opinion, one of the world's greatest anthropologists. And they are the members of the expedition with a portion of our permanent camp in Gorilla Territory. Do you suppose there's any part of their camp still standing? Hardly. After 10 years, it was a constant fight then to keep the jungle out. These photographs are priceless, Doctor. We'll guard them with our lives. Well, there are others there showing the missing link reacting to some intelligent tests we made, which you can study at your leisure. But this one shows him full grown at five years, just a few weeks before he broke out of his cage and murdered Theodore. We are deeply indebted to you, Doctor. Isn't there something we can do for you in return? Perhaps on our return, you'd like to go back to civilization with us. No, I'd rather not. My life on this earth is growing short, and my mission, if you can call it such, is about finished. Now, uh, this map will guide you to Deirdre's camp, and I'd advise you to rebuild it and use it as base of all future activity. <laughs> Otherwise, you may traverse the entire length and breadth of the Congo and never catch sight of a single gorilla. I assume from your suggestion that Dr. Theodorf used some methods to lure the gorillas into his camp. <laughs> his method was quite simple. He discovered that the medium plant was a choice food for the gorilla. And so he planted it all around his camp. You'll find some photos of the medium in those.
for his wings. I'll gladly keep watch. I'm not tired. I've used the long watch. Just change your mind. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> looks like the Baxter invention is a blooming success. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit like a group of <laughs> That's what I get for making a blasted monkey meat. <laughs> Take your time. They won't be back for hours yet. All right. Beautiful night. a chance to win back the 20 shillings I took from you last night? Sure, I'd like to have revenge. How about you, Bishop? Some other time. I don't feel lucky tonight. If you can count me in hand, I might as well lose my money to you. I've no place to spend it. Good night, Mr. Hamill. fair with me, Pam. What do you mean? Well, ever since we've been in Africa, you've been treating me like a stranger. Well, I'm afraid it's your fault, Clive. I'd rather resent you for getting that. But you know I love you. And I'm very fond of you. But please don't mistake my friendship for more than it was intended. Oh, I see. Let's be good friends. What do you say? Well, what can I say? Good night, Clive.
Oh, dear, what's the matter? I just saw a huge beast looking in at me through the window. There's nothing out there, Pamela. Oh, but it was there. I saw it. A huge beast with flaming eyes. Control yourself, my dear. You were probably having a nightmare. Oh, no, Father, I was wide awake. It was real. But no jungle beast could get over our stockade wall. No. Couldn't a, a gorilla? <laughs> now I know you were dreaming. Gorillas are not climbing beasts. Sir Harry! Sir Harry! Well, there's nothing wrong. Pamela was dreaming she saw a gorilla looking in her window. And it was so realistic she woke up screaming. <laughs> Bishop, you'd better take a look around. Uh, Stringer, Webb, check the back fence. Okay.
want to talk to you, Hunt. What's on your mind? Well, I'm fed up with this. I'm sick of wasting my time trying to find a white monkey. So? You tell me that you had a definite purpose in joining this expedition. Supposing I have. Well, I'd, I'd like to throw in with you if there's a chance. Without knowing my objective? Well, anything would be better than this. If you throw in with us, there can be no backing out, understand? And if we fail, you'll risk being hanged with the rest of us. Well? I'll do anything if I can take Pamela with me. Oh, I don't know about that. I hadn't figured on taking a woman along. Suppose she objects to going with you. Well, suppose the Harry objects to your plans. That isn't going to stop you, is it? You can take her, but she'll be your responsibility. All right. Good, I can tell you our plans now. I know where there's a fabulous gold field. And by borrowing Herr Bragdon's safari, we can bring out enough of the shiny metal to make us richer than the Bank of England. I'm with you all the way. Come with me. This is an outrage. I shall spend every penny I possess to prosecute you, criminal. Out and off will be then, Sir Harry. It's best to bargain with the blighters. Carswell, I would never have thought you'd be an accessory to this criminal venture. You must be mad. Shut up. Tie them up. Mumbo Jumbo. Maraco Tunga. Maraganga. My friends, we are taking all the guns and supplies with us. But if you make no attempt to follow, we will leave a cache on the riverbank a two-day trek from here. With care, it will be sufficient to get you back to Mojave. But if you attempt to follow, we will leave nothing. Come on, Pam, you're coming with us. Oh, no, I'm not. How dare you, you insolent young bounder. Don't be a fool, Carswell. Your horse going to get your blue neck scratched. You coming, Pam? No, I'm not. All right, Mumbo Jumbo. Bring the Fräulein with us. What man said, come you? Don't you dare touch me. old boy. Now, if we only had some guns, we could take off to the blinders and turn the tables on them. If we only had some cartridges. Perhaps we'll soon have both. Sure, Kruger is going to leave them for us on the riverbank. You didn't really believe that, did you? Didn't you? My dear fellows, Kruger can't possibly afford for us to get out of here alive. Do you really mean he is cold-blooded enough to leave us stranded without food or guns? It wouldn't be the first time, Van Doren. You seem to know quite a bit about her crew, but it's part of my job. I'm afraid I'm not quite what I seem. You see, I joined your safari under orders from the Rhodesian Secret Service. About 18 months ago, the bodies of a party of prospectors were found in the bush. Each man shot through the head. We discovered they had hired a guide. The guide's body wasn't there. I can only tell you, gentlemen, that the description of the guide fits Kroger very well. Further, it was established there were two other members of the original party, riflemen, hired by the same guide. Their bodies weren't there either. Webman Stringer. Very possibly. Yes, but what are we going to do for guns and supplies? I've taken care of that. Bishop, I owe you an apology. There isn't time for that now. Every minute that Pamela's with Kroger, she's in danger. If you'll take command, we'll follow you. Good enough. Come on.
to her senses. She might become the prey of some wild beast. Mumbo Jumbo, Arakan Segura. The video is here. The best of the world. changed my mind, Fräulein. But you've got to. If you don't, they'll starve to death. It's either their lives or mine, Fräulein, and I believe in self-preservation. Clive, you can't let him do this. It's the same as murder. She's right. It would be murder. You've got to give them a fighting chance. Shut up. I don't want any advice from you. I'll ask for it. I'll get aboard, both of you. Come! Carswell was dead when we reached him. So we hurried on after Kogart. 
There was no sign of him or Miss Brazen. Then all of a sudden we heard the savage roar of a jungle beast and Crooked cries for help and Miss Bragdon screaming. We finally found him. Crogart had been killed by a huge gorilla who was holding Miss Bragdon in his arms. And he was a white gorilla. Like some lions found Kruger's body during the night. Yes. Gorilla tracks. From now on, we'll have to be careful not to overlook any signs. We'll probably find lots of those tracks, but the deeper ones we'll have to follow. The white gorilla was carrying over 100 pounds of extra weight. Come on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 